Welcome back to the channel. Listen, guys, I've been having a good time recording this content for this television and talking to you guys, answering questions. But I'm going to be honest with you, man. This is really what it's all about right here. Now, I've told you guys several times on the channel that I am a gamer at heart. And when you're looking at any kind of premium TV, I'm going to just go ahead and put this out here respectfully. If you are going to cover gaming content, the PC has to come into play. The consoles are just not going to be the best way to optimize and really push. Let me not say optimize, but push and really showcase what is possible. So right here, we've got my Intel build that features an i9-12900K processor with an RTX 3090 Ti graphics card, guys. I've I featured this on the channel before and a ton of the content that I've shot around the LG C2 that I have in 55 inch, as well as the S95B from Samsung in 55 inch has been done featuring this particular computer. Guys, today we're gonna be doing a full setup, going through settings, getting variable refresh rate, looking at G-Sync, all those different type of things. Even checking to see if ultra wide is a support for this TV right after this intro. All right, team, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna have timestamps in the description of this video. Make sure you guys like. I'm gonna to try to make sure that this is a pretty definitive video for PC gamers and what a PC gamer should look to expect for the 2022 Sony A90K. Again, timestamps are gonna be down below, so I will watch this video as I edit it. I'll go ahead and um, you know get all that content there, so if you guys need to skin through, you can do so. If I've missed anything that you feel like you need me to cover, do leave it in the comments section. And lastly, guys, this is a pretty new Bleeding Edge TV. Uh, not many people have it, so I would appreciate any shares on Twitter or wherever uh, you guys feel like you want to show some support. So we're going to go ahead and get right into me booting up the PC since I explained in the intro what we're working with. You kind of get a general idea. I'm one of those types that likes to go into using my stuff with a max setting frame of mind. And so the only way you're going to be able to do that is through PC. So I just powered on my rig and uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch the HDMI port. Okay, guys, so this video is going to have some length. So again, I'm going to stress again, take a look in the description for timestamps. Uh, what I want to talk about now is just my overall experience with using OLEDs as monitors. I've used them from sizes 48 inch as large as 77 inch and I've had no personal issue guys. Um, going all the way back from 2019, that was the first OLED, the LG C9 that I plugged up an RTX graphics card to because it was the first to offer the HDMI 2.1. So some people will have a big concern about static, you know, images or icons. I personally don't. And if you guys haven't checked through the content or the catalog of my content, I have two videos that I've posted, one with 12,000 and one with 13,000 hours showing you some image retention, possible screen burn-ins. Feel free to check that out. So now that we've got to that point, here we are with this TV. Got it set up, got my Assassin's Creed Valhalla um, screensaver here, wallpaper here. It is a 4K image. We're gonna right click, go down to show more, show more options. I am using Windows 11. All the latest drivers and updates are there. NVIDIA control panel is where we want to go. First things first, starting off with the resolution piece, you've got two different resolution options there, okay? You've got 4K for TV, and then you've got 4K for PC, okay? TV, PC. This guy's going to say native because it is. That's what the default is because this is a TV, but we want to go down to the PC setting. Now, I've covered this before in the S95B, and I went really extensive with it using the LG uh, products. I do feel that the LG is going to offer the definitive options. If you are solely playing on PC, my recommendations is going to be to go with you in LG OLED. So when you're using the TV resolution, your refresh rate is going to go 60 hertz down to 23. You don't have an option to do a two, uh, 120, 100 hertz or anything like that. However, when you go down to the PC, you're gonna go 3840 by 2160. You got 100 hertz, 120 hertz. We activate that. Takes a second. 
We're going to save it. Now we're butter smooth. Now, guys, look, I'm recording this using a Sony ZV-1 vlogger camera. I am recording this 4K, 30 frames per second. That's all I can do with this camera. So you're not going to be able to notice any motion, you know, fluidity changes or anything like that. I'm not going to, like, add frames to this to render it at 60 frames per second or anything like that. You just got to kind of watch and go along, right? After that, the next thing we want to do is go to set up G-Sync, which is kind of, in my opinion, a controversial thing. Does G-Sync work on the S95B Samsung? Does G-Sync work on this? In my opinion, the variable refresh rate works on both of them, okay? G-Sync works on LG TVs. LG is the brand that is certified. We know this because right here, Windows will tell you in the NVIDIA control panel, that is made by NVIDIA, the maker of G-Sync, right? That this selected display is not validated as a G-Sync compatible. Now, there's some conversation and some dialogue about whether or not that means anything. Look, guys, I'm going to just say this. Variable refresh rate works. Screen tearing technology works. So it is what it is. We are going to click this, and I like to enable it for window and full screen. We're also going to enable settings for the selected display model, even though it tells me the display isn't validated as G-Sync compatible, which means that NVIDIA themselves has not went through and certified this particular panel. They've only done that for the LG TVs. Go through, click that black screen again. So now essentially what we should have is our ability to have little to no screen tear real quick guys one thing i always like to tell people to do too whenever i'm talking on these videos about this pc stuff right click go to your display settings when you go there force turn on hdr force turn on variable refresh rate within windows you can also turn on the gp accelerated functionality the gpu accelerated functionality is going to reduce input latency which is what you want to get most optimal experiences after that get the GeForce experience, make sure we got the latest drivers. As you can see right here, we got a driver here that came out on the 15th that I have not downloaded. I've got too many computers in my house. So this being like one of my main rigs, um, even it doesn't get used all the time. And so forgive me, just got to get this downloaded just to make sure we're optimal. We're going to mess around with a few other settings. And then in this video, we're going to do a lot of different type of gameplays. I won't say a lot, but there's a couple of different games I'll run and I'll just kind of let the camera on the tripod just do its thing and give you guys some watch time. All right, guys. So the bulk hit of this video is going to be about gameplay and really talking about the different resolutions and the settings that I'd recommend. Uh, one piece that I do want to cover. And please, guys, if you need to if you need me to articulate things a little bit more in depth, I will. But I was asked a question about text and what it would look like it looks pretty clear to me to be honest with you i'm sitting about head to screen eight feet from the tv and its orientation right now where i have my tripod recording it okay i picked this book you went in the locker room first because it's a book that i own a book i've read the text looks pretty clean to me again tv's 48 inch i'm about eight eight and a half feet away and i can make this out really well Equally so, if I was typing up a Word document and so forth, I'd be able to see this one no problem. Now, some of you guys may look for something more specific, and if so, let me know. But I didn't want to take a lot of time talking about this. I just wanted to make sure that I did address this from a PC perspective. The text looks pretty good to me on the Sony A90K. All right, before I go ahead and boot up a couple of games, one thing I wanted to talk about is aspect ratios. So this TV... In my personal opinion, not designed with PC gamers in mind, okay? And as such, you don't have some of the standardized things that you get from the S95B or the LG lineup. You don't get ultra wide as like a default setting. There's some aspect ratio options that are completely blocked out from the TV settings once you have variable refresh rate active. What I've done is I went ahead and created a custom resolution, which is 3840 by 1080. And to do that, you go to customize then you dial in what you want it to be. You can also customize the refresh rate too. You apply it, and there we have it. We have a means of ultra wide. Now, what you will need to do is go back into your display settings and force the high dynamic range feature to be on. 
So with that being said, I'm gonna lead into my PC gaming showing something in ultra wide and then we'll switch back to the 16 by 9 aspect ratio for the rest of the video. A realization I wanted to point out is you cannot actually activate high dynamic range with this custom resolution. So again, this TV is not designed for you to game in ultra wide aspect ratio. And because such, I will not play any gameplay in ultra wide because I'm just not going to do that. <laughs> if you guys got any questions or if you need me to make some more content about that, I will. But don't try to do ultra wide on this because it's not really intended for it in my personal opinion. All right, Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath. This is the latest update. HDR looks great on this. Uh, the, the HDR 10 preset made things look extremely warm. Looks real cinematic. I love the way these colors look. This game is really directional, so it's down back A. Shredder's Revenge. This is Days Gone on PC, max settings 4K. This looks really good.
God of War. PC, max settings, 4K. Man, this looks really warm. What did you find? Tracks. Not here, though. I'll keep looking. All quick clips, you know, just uh, looking at things I've looked at on many TVs and. More tracks? Yeah, but they're too round. Could be a while. Man, the sharpness of the detail is good. Oh, now what? This way, boy. Damn, the shadows, man. Oh. Tell you to follow. 